Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I'm Jules Giang and this is Season 3 of K-Check. As always, sinisiguro naming may challenge para sa bawat contestant at viewer at laging may bagong natututunan habang pinagdadaanan ang mga challenges. Kaya naman stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Firstly, we have Moy. Moy is a BA Theater Arts Performance Major from UP Diliman. He is a singer and an actor for theater and film. His hobbies include playing musical instruments and playing sports such as volleyball, badminton, and cycling. He loves OPM bands such as Eraserheads and Four of Spades. So the man we have NJ. NJ is a hospitality management student at STI College. His hobbies are watching basketball and online games, watching K-drama, and reading manga. One of his dreams is to build a restaurant or a cafe. Next, we have Plinky. Plinky is a student from UP Diliman. She studies speech communication, majoring in interpersonal and instructional communication. Her hobbies are watching movies and series, journaling, reading self-help books, and trying out new food. She also loves music and is a big fan of Adele. And finally, we have JL. JL is an applied physics student from UP Diliman. An aspiring theoretical physicist, he feels he has a chaotic personality based on the number of varying interests he has. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics from UP Diliman. Sunod naman, we have Professor Neil Santelian, former chairperson of UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. At ngayon, contestants, it's time for our first round. Correct answers are 10 points each. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's begin. This is round one. Question number one. The Last Night, Dark of the Moon, and an animated prequel titled One are part of which blockbuster film franchise? The correct answer is Transformers. Question number two. What two-word phrase referring to night working hours comes from the description of the time when some cemetery diggers work? Graveyard shift is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. What do you call the center of a dartboard or an archery target? Bullseye. Bullseye is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. Former United States President Dwight Eisenhower became General of the Army in what war? Linky. Vietnam War. Vietnam War is wrong. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is World War II. Question number five. The green form of what substance is the weakness of Superman? NJ. Kryptonite. Kryptonite is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. Which former Senate president celebrated his 100th birthday on February 14, 2024? Senator Juan Ponce Enrile. Juan Ponce Enrile is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. In quick math, what number is exactly between 1.5 and 5.5? 3.5. 3 3.5 is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. In astronomy, what planet has four moons that are larger than Pluto. Linky. Saturn. Saturn is wrong. Anyone can see it, MJ? 
Neptune. Neptune is wrong. Moi, moi, moi. Jupiter. Jupiter is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What word may mean an upright pillar of a building or a piece of writing in a newspaper that is always by the same person? JL. Column. Column is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. What non-metallic chemical element has the symbol S? JL. Sulfur. Sulfur is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. In what large U.S. city can you find Romance Chinese Theater where you can see the footprints and handprints of movie stars on the sidewalk? Blinky. Hollywood. Hollywood is wrong. Amoy. Los Angeles. Los Angeles is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. Number 12. Just behind Africa, what continent has the second largest elephant population in the world? JL. Asia. Asia is correct. A okay, check. And that ends round number one. So after that round, let's do a scores recap. JL is leading with 50 points, followed by Moy and Plinky with 20 points each, and NJ with 10 points. So contestants, meron tayong segment dito sa show na mas kinikilala natin ang backgrounds ng bawat contestant. Ito ang Kay Chica. So simulan natin kay Moy. Moy, the Eraserheads is a band from the 90s. So paano mo sila na-discover at bakit mo nagustuhan yung music nila? Uh, mahilig talaga ako makinig sa... Ewan ko, bigla na lang nahilig talaga ako sa E-Heads nung bata ako. And then nadagdag, nadagdagan yung hilig ko sa E-Heads nung uh, nadagdagan yung hilig ko sa theater. Nung napasok ako sa theater since ang isa sa favorite ko na original Filipino musical is yung Ang Huling LB mo. Mm, na directed ng isang UP professor. Professor din. po namin. <laughs> professor niya mismo. Okay. Super ganda nga ng Aheb, di ba? Ang huling El Bimbo. Okay, maraming salamat, Moy. Sunod naman si NJ. So, NJ, sabi mo na dream mo magkaroon ng future restaurant and cafe. Anong na-envision mo for this uh, dream? Uh, ako, actually po, ano, yung strand po na pinili ko nun ng senior po ako is about uh, business related po. Pero, yung tinay ko po ngayon is hindi po masyadong business related. Pero, Ang plano, ang plano ko po kasi talaga is magtayo na lang po ako ng sarili ko and mag sa self learning na lang po ako about ng business. Then yung main vision ko po dun sa cafe na ina, na tinatay ko build in the future is about ano po, student related din po siya na ayun po. <laughs> so hospitality management yung kinukuha mo yes, ngayon. Po. So maganda yon yung kinuha mo nung strand mo nung senior high ka, business. So pwede mo siyang ma-merge. Magagamit yes, mo siya for your future business. So thank you NJ for sharing that. Babalikan natin sila Plinky and JL later. Pero round 2 naman tayo. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. JL is in the lead with 50 points. Followed by Moy and Plinky with 20 points each. At si NJ naman ay may 10 points. Ngayon naman, tuloy na natin ang second part ng kay Chica. Si Plinky naman ang kausapin natin. Plinky, ano ba ang future career para sa isang speech communication student katulad mo? Yes, actually, I'm very grateful po sa um, program na napili ko kasi sa Speechcom, uh, marami siyang mga offer na career. It's not just limited to a certain industry. You can enter marketing, you can even um, go to law law school, um, you can even be an instructor, a teacher, and many more. It's We are given a chance to actually discover who we want to be and who we want to grow as a person. Very flexible. Yes, basically. very flexible. Pero ikaw, anong nakikita mo track? Um, actually, um, working na rin po ako right now as a copywriter sa marketing industry. So, but in the future, I really want to teach um, students as well. Okay, give back. Kumbaga. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Plinky. Okay, next naman si JL. JL, sabi mo na chaotic, chaotic ka dahil sa dami ng mga interest mo. Malapit na rin ba ang, yun muna, sa pagiging chaotic. Bakit mo nasabi yun na chaotic ang personality mo? parang napaka-impulsive ko kasi na uh, 
sometimes kapag ayaw ko mag-aral, parang ayaw ko talaga mag-aral. Pero kapag may nagustuhan akong aralin, tututukan ko talaga siya tapos hindi ko siya tatantanan. Hindi mo tatantanan. Tapos random lang siya, uh, it could be anything na basta yung magustuhan ko talaga. Pero how is it beneficial to you as a student right now? Yeah, actually, I think na nakikita ko naman yung benefits niya. Although, syempre, may bad side din. Okay. Sige, strategy mo yan eh. Kung baga, discarte mo yan. Iba-iba tayong discarte as students. So, maraming salamat sa inyo, Plinky and JL. But now, it's time for round two. So, contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is round two. Question number one. CCTV is a common form of video surveillance. What does CCTV stand for? The correct answer is closed circuit television. Question number two. Although it is not related to swine, as its name indicates, what do you call the tailless South American rodent that is synonymous to a subject of experiments. Pig. Pig is wrong. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is guinea pig. Ayan. Question number three. Whose divide tour became the highest grossing concert tour Ed Sheeran. Okay, let me proceed. Highest grossing tour in music history in 2019. With more than $700 million in ticket sales, you said Ed Sheeran. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. What term for storage furniture also refers to a group of government department secretaries? JL. Cabinet. Cabinet is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. In the film and novel, The Life of Pi, Pi gets stranded on a lifeboat in the middle of the ocean with what animal? Okay. Tiger. Tiger is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What term may refer to a place where plants are grown, a type of preschool, or a hospital room for newborn babies? Linky. Nursery. Nursery is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. John Spilsbury is credited with originating what type of puzzle where you fit together pieces of different shapes to form a picture? Linky. Jigsaw puzzle. Jigsaw puzzle is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. Also called the Holy See, what is the smallest fully independent country in the world? JL. Vatican City. Vatican City is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What is the iconic 2009 debut single by Kesha, which has a title that is the same as the name of one of the world's most popular Blinky? TikTok. And we proceed. Most popular social media platforms. We said TikTok. That is correct. Okay, check. Hahabulan kayo, ah. Okay. Next question, number 10. What do you call a man's evening dress for a semi-formal occasions, which is named for a classy village in New York, USA? Tuxedo. Tuxedo is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. From May 21 to 23, 2024, Queen Maxima visited the Philippines on a UN mission. What European country is Queen Maxima the Queen Concert? The correct answer is the Netherlands. Question number 12. In what sport did the Houston Astros and Texas Rangers become champions during the 2020s? Baseball. Baseball is correct. Okay, check. And that's it for round number two. Okay, scores recap tayo after that round. Plinky is now in the lead with 110 points, followed by JL with 90 points. 
Moy with 60 points and NJ with 10 points. Pero hindi pa tayo tapos. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. And welcome back to K-Check. Points recap tayo. Plinky is in the lead with 110 points. Followed by JL with 90 points. Moy with 60 points. And NJ with 10 points. Pero meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Correct answers are worth 30 points each. At may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter N answer, but not the letter only. Let's go for those points and for the win. Let's begin. Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Marian. Let's start with something simple. If one has 150 Filipino friends and 50 foreigner friends, what percentage of his friends are foreigners? A. 25% JL 75% Mali Let me continue B 30% C 50% D 60% Or E 75% Pinky B 30% Mali pa din Boy. A, 25%. Okay, three question dito. Okay. One has a total of 200 friends. And your foreigner ay 50. So, 50 over 200 is 25%. One fourth. Okay, check. Sorry. Thank you. Prof. Neil. Ang saya ko, nakuha ko yung tamang sagot. Ako rin eh. <laughs> Ano ang salin sa wikang Ingles ng pamagat ng librong Sucesos de las Islas Filipinas? Akdang sinulat ni Antonio de Morga noong 1609 na binigyan ng mga anotasyon ni Jose Rizal. A. Culture in the Philippine Islands B. Events in the Philippine Islands C. Succession in the Philippine Islands D. Trades in the Philippine Islands E. Victories in the Philippine Islands yeah. Ang katagang susesos ay nangangahulugang event o kaganapan Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Events in the Philippine Islands Thank you. Prof. Sophie, your question, please. In music, an orchestra is a large musical ensemble which combines instruments from different families. There are typically four main families or sections of instruments, string, woodwind, brass, and percussion. In which of these sections does the oboe belong? A. Strings B. Woodwinds C. Brass B. Moy. C. Brass uh, Mali po Plinky. B. Woodwinds Okay, tapusin ko lang po yung ano options um, D. Percussion E. None of the above The correct answer is woodwinds The oboe is traditionally made out of wood and the reason why it's so important for the orchestra it's because it's the one that all the instruments tune to. Back when you listen to a concert and there's an orchestra, you hear the oboe playing the A note and then all the other instruments set their ano, tuning according to the oboe. Okay, check! Thank you. Off to our second round, Prof. Marian. Leather is used for many things like shoes, bags, car seats, and many more because of its durability and flexibility. What is a major component of leather? A. Carbohydrate 
B. Collagen C. Polyramide D. Nucleic Acid or E. Oilon Yeah, collagen. Collagen. Okay, so leather is from animal hide and it's made up mostly of collagen and other proteins. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Neil? This phenomenon has caused the decline of trade unions in the last 30 years. A. Contractualization B. Digital Revolution C. Decline of the Communist Movement D. Diaspora of Filipino Workers E. Merger of Companies A contractualization. Yeah. Yeah. Congrats to NJ. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A contractualization. K check. Thank you, Prof. Sophie. Go ahead. Dapat madali lang to. No, the line to be or not to be. That is the question. Is from what play by William Shakespeare? A. Hamlet. B. King Lear. C. Macbeth D. Othello E. Romeo and Juliet Wait. A. Hamlet <laughs> Yes <laughs> But that was too much suspense Of course it's Hamlet But to be or not to be That is the question um, It's where Hamlet starts you know, thinking about death And you know, mortality um, okay, so um, it was completed around 1600 and its complete title is Tra Tragedy of Hamlet, Prince of Denmark. A. Dapat talaga na kuha mo to mo, no? Or theater ka. <laughs> okay, check. Thank you. So we're halfway done in this round. So we'll do a scores recap muna. In the lead, C. Plinky with 125 points. Followed by Moy and JL with 105 points each and NJ with 40 points. Meron pa tayong 180 points sa next two rounds natin. So pwede nyo pang pag-agawan yan. Simulan na natin ang ating third round, Prof. Marian. Agawan na. Okay. Hydrogen has atomic number 1. What consists the neutron of a hydrogen atom? Choose the best answer, okay? A. One proton. B. One electron only C. One neutron only D. One proton and one neutron Or E. One proton, one neutron, and one electron One proton and one electron Okay, well, the wala siya sa choices Okay, so I could choose the best answer But I'll accept that So the hydrogen um, atom has both proton and electron, yung uncharged one. And atomic number is based actually on the number of proton. So, tama, mas precise, kay check. Thank you so much. Prof. Neil. Ang galing ni JL, wala sa choices. Yun yung sagot niya, tama pa. <laughs> okay. Pinangunahan ng pretilin, isang kilosang political, ang pagpapalaya ng bansang ito sa timog silang ang Asia mula sa kolonisasyon. A. Brunei B. Cambodia C. Indonesia D. Malaysia E. Timor-Leste Ang bansang ito ay lumaya muna sa Portugal then, nagkaroon sila ng bagong kolonisador. Yan ang Indonesia. Then, ang tamang sagot ay letter E, Timor Leste. Prof. Sophie? <clears throat> okay. So, what Filipino comic series was endorsed by Neil Gaiman and went on to become a Netflix series in 2021? A. Elmer B. Trece B13. Um, I'll just finish the options. C. 
Nancy, the mythology class, D. Timawa, E. Marabini. The correct answer is B. Trece. Okay, check. At ang tagal ng next season. <laughs> okay, now we're off to our last round. But very quick recap lang. JL is now leading with 135 35 points, closely followed by Plinky with 125 points, with Moy 105 points, and NJ with 70 points. Meron pa tayong 90 points left for this last round. So, Prof. Maria. Sino kaya makakuha ng 90 points? Meron bang buong 90? To simple lang for my last question. What do you call the unit of energy defined as the approximate amount of energy needed to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius. A. Joule. G. Joule. Mali. B. Yeah. Erg. C. Watts. D. Thermal unit. Or E. Calorie. Anyone can steal and bake. The thermal unit. Mali. Only Moy and Blinky. Blinky, go ahead. B. Erg. Mali pa din. Only Moy can answer. Moy? E. Calorie. Talagang si Moy naka. Naka-chamba ba? Hindi. <laughs> Talagang naghihinta siya. Sigurista ang tawag doon. Strategy. <laughs> so, um, although Joel ang sagot ni JL, but this actually... It should be 4.18 joules. So this is what you need to raise um, yung, yung water, yung temperature niya by 1 degree Celsius, yung 1 gram. This is the small calorie. And kung ikaw ay nag-watch ng weight mo, you're after the big calories naman. So Moy, okay, check. Okay, last two questions. Ang leading na natin ay si Moy with 135 points. Sir Neil. Yung hindi chamba yung kay Moy, ang tawag doon, strategic play. Uh, Cebu Pacific, C2, Jack and Jill, and Robinson Smalls are brands you identify with this Filipino-Chinese Taipan. A. Ramon Ang, B. John Gokongwe, C. Henry C., D. Lucio Tan, E. George T. Okay. Kakaibang kwento ng Taipan na ito. Diba? From rags to riches. Basa, baliktad pala. From riches to rags, then from rags to riches. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. John Gokongwe. Thank you. Last question from Prof. Sophie. Okay, um, I think the last question na to parang unahan na lang eh. <laughs> so, May 4 is a special day for fans of which movie? A. Barbie B. Moy Star Wars I'll finish the options. B. Independence Day C. Star Wars D. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse E. Titanic um, and of course, the correct answer is Star Wars from 1977 and the great words, May the Force be with you. Okay, check! And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Moy, our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 165 points. Congratulations, Moy. Congratulations. So we'll see him again tomorrow when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Thanks to NJ, Plinky, and JL. Sobrang galing ninyo. Palapakan natin sila. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Sophie. I'm Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check!